Welcome to Water Spark. Today we are going to see how to connect a dishwasher RO plant for your dishwasher machine. Everybody needs a dishwasher RO nowadays because the hardness present in the water is if it is beyond 100 ppm a dishwasher would not actually work properly and you will have a lot of complications. So let's see how we are going to install the dishwasher RO plant. Now you are seeing here the Water Sparks Dishwasher RO plant. I'm just going to show you what the parts inside this are. Once you unbox the Water Sparks Dishwasher RO plant, you will find these items here which are important equipment for the Dishwasher RO plant. You have tube, adapter, 3 fourth inlet connector, and also have inlet connection plastic equipment. And apart from that you also have the main unit here. I am going to tell you what this main unit consists of. This will be the inlet so where you have to put the inlet line here. This is your first filter which is a micron filter and the second one is also a micron filter then you have a high pressure pump on the top which is a 300 GPD pump so it's not like a normal RO machine because it's been connected to two powerful membrane here. Each powerful membrane would deliver about 20 liters of water, because only then you can run a dishwasher. So these two membranes are connected to the hydropneumatic pressure storage tank here. Once a little bit of water which is coming out of this hydropneumatic tank immediately the RO plant will start kicking and fill the water in the pneumatic tank so that it feeds the sufficient water for your dishwasher. Now let's see how we are going to do the installation part usually your dishwasher will be connected to the main inlet line of your tap and this is how it will look and this will be your inlet line and the other end will be connected to your dishwasher and this will be your outlet line. Now what we have to do is the inlet line to be has to be removed from the main inlet part and now we have to remove this and there will be also an adapter and we have to remove that one also and now what we have to do is which is provided in the box we have to take this part so the o-ring is there so you don't have to add in any teflon tape and connect it here. So what you have to do is this adapter has to be fixed inside the inlet line again here ok which you have removed from the main line and you have another part which is here take this part which is a half inch by quarter inch tube adapter this you have to put it in this so that you you will be able to connect your RO to this lines. This becomes the main inlet for the dishwasher so you have to connect this here if necessary you can add the teflon tape so that you know avoid the leakages so now. This setup is done hand tight is enough that's all. You need to connect this this RO tube so your inlet line is ready now. The other end of the tube to be connected to the inlet of the machine and you have to push it very hard so that it goes inside and now the job is done now let's see the outlet part of the dishwasher row you will see this outlet part here and this will be outlet which you have to connect it to the dishwasher actually you need to push it hard and fix this tube. And this line now what you have to do is you have to connect it to the dishwasher line here ok now it's all set now what you have to do is make sure that you have two power points for the dishwasher as well as for the RO plant and the dishwasher power point should be always on so that the machine kicks on and keeps the water stored in the pneumatic tank. So maybe dishwasher can be put it off and on whenever you require but the RO plant should be always on keep that in mind. 